Well, anytime now, His Excellency Bobby Wine is getting back on stage. President Museveni's advisor has assured the public. Well, in other news, President Museveni has finally admitted that there is poisoning in Uganda and perpetrators are yet to be brought to book. Well, in other news, did you know that Akon from Senegal has secretly arrived in Uganda? Stand by for the details. And finally, Ronald Mayinja is officially out of NRM and he's ready to rejoin NUP Bobby Wine's party. Well, I should say very interesting stories I have for you this Sunday morning. A very good morning. How are you doing? I thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly do subscribe and also do tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, before we go to those big stories, uh, Shamim Malende, Kampala Woman Member of Parliament, is not doing well. As we speak right now, she's admitted in hospital and according to sources, she's been there for some good days. However, some Ugandans are complaining about that hospital where she's admitted. They are saying it doesn't look like a serious hospital. I mean, look at the mattress. This lady is a honorable member of parliament. So they want her to be transferred to another better hospital where she will get better treatment. But I'm sure the doctors, wherever she's admitted, are doing their best to save her life. Otherwise, right here on the Buzz UG, we wish her a very quick recovery and I'll keep you posted on this story. Now, in other news, King Michael has called upon Bobby Wine supporters to forgive and allow Catherine Kusasira, Big Eye, and himself back on stage. Now, this guy says Ugandans should stop mixing entertainment business with politics. King Michael says this is not the time for politicking, but time for serious business. So he says Ugandans please forgive the so-called NRM musicians so that they can also get back on stage and earn something for their families. King Michael also revealed that he was among the artists that were supposed to perform at Jeno Muhozi Kainerugaba's birthday, but Bebe Kool deleted his name from the list of performers. Well, he says Bebe Kool is extremely greedy for money and he will always want to eat alone. Well, that is it from King Michael. However, I don't know if Bobby Wine's fans are willing to forgive and forget. Well, in other news, Catherine Kusasira has promised that she's going to speak to President Museveni about allowing Bobby Wine back on stage. According to Catherine Kusasira, she's not happy with the continuous ban put on Bobby Wine even after politics is done. Now, Catherine Kusasira says it's time to allow Bobby Wine back on stage so that life gets back to normal. So she has promised to speak to President Museveni about this issue and you never know, anything can happen. I mean, we all know she's a presidential advisor and let's just keep waiting, otherwise I'll keep you posted. Well, in other news, you must be seeing Ronald Mainja trending on social media and you're questioning yourself what's going on. Now, don't worry, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Now, according to Ronald Mainja's new song, he has officially quit President Museveni's NRM party. Now, Ronald Mainja says he has tried to speak to different Ugandans about the good in President Museveni's government, but all they have told him is that they are tired of this government. Now, Mainja says Ugandans have complained about President Museveni staying in power for a long time. They have also talked about good hospitals, but there is no medicine. Now, Mainja says he even suggested that they should allow President Museveni bring in a replacement, maybe his son or another person, but Ugandans told him they are tired of this government and all they want is to vote for their own next president of Uganda. Now, Ronald Mainja also says people around President Museveni don't want to tell him the truth on ground, but the naked truth is that Ugandans are tired of this government. Well, I should say it's a very interesting song with facts. Yes, with facts. However, some people have called this a diversion. <laughs> yes, some people are saying this is a diversion. They don't think Ronald Mainja is serious with this song he just released. Yes, so basically that is why you're seeing Ronald Mainja is trending on social media. Uh, we are yet to hear from President Museveni's party, which is NRM, and I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. 
Well, in other news, uh, President Museveni has finally admitted that there is poisoning going on in this country. Now, former Minister of Tourism, that is Godfrey Chiwanda, has revealed that President Museveni is soon going to set up a committee that investigates the overwhelming poisoning allegations in Uganda. Now, Chiwanda says the only way to convince the public that there is no poison scare in the country is to establish an independent commission of inquiry that investigates these allegations. Now, Godfrey Chiwanda said people who allege that they were poisoned should prepare their evidence and once they are summoned by the committee, they should be able to present it so that investigations are done. It should be remembered that recently, after we lost, you know, the former Speaker of Parliament, that is Jacob Olanya, President Museveni ordered for the arrest of all people who were saying that he was poisoned. However, Uganda police gave up on that order after they received serious backlash from the public. Well, in other news, a con from Senegal has secretly returned to Uganda after invited by tycoon Ham Chigundu. It's reported that Akon arrived in the country on Friday and from Entebbe Airport, he was driven to Ham Chigundu's home. It's however not yet clear why Akon's visit this time around was not organized by government as it was last year. Uh, we all remember this guy promised a futuristic city right here in Uganda and uh, government allocated him land in Mukono and up to now, there is no any signs of setting up a futuristic city right here in Uganda. Well, I'm following up on this story and I'll keep you posted. Yeah, so that is it. I don't know what you think of these stories that are making headlines right now, but you know, you can put your comment right there in the comment section. Otherwise, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.